proved himself. He's got a chip on his shoulder. I think all those elements together fit being a Coug. And I think he embraces the opportunity and I think he's ready to take advantage of it. I really do. I got a ton of confidence in Devin. Welcome back. The WSU Cougars had just one NFL draft pick this year, linebacker Dayon Henley. Head coach Jake Dickert brought in yet another freakish athlete to fill Henley's shoes. I sat down with new Cougar linebacker Devin Richardson to discuss his Texas roots, his switch from quarterback to linebacker in high school, and his adjustment to WSU. I'm like, coach, I don't know what to do. He said, it's okay, go stand off the edge and go make a play. First play, I got a TFL. And once they saw that flash, it was like, okay, Richardson, we're gonna need you to go to varsity and play linebacker. Despite that early success, Richardson just wanted to play quarterback. I was just going to my parents and I was in a funk. It was like, man, I'm a quarterback and I just don't think they see it. Like I wanted to either leave or just stop playing football. Fortunately, Richardson decided to make the move to linebacker. His affinity for the quarterback position allowed him to have success and earn a scholarship to play football at New Mexico State the following year. I found a knack for getting after the quarterback because I used to play that and that's what I wanted to play. So it's like, okay, if I can't play, I'm gonna make their life a, a, a living here. <laughs> after becoming a freshman All-American and then losing a year to COVID, Richardson decided to transfer. Coach Dickert and WSU came calling, but Richardson had other plans. The burnt orange uniform was definitely a dream for me. That didn't work out how I wanted to. It was a blessing, man. I would never take it back for the world. After two years at the University of Texas, Richardson wanted a bigger role. Coach Dickert came calling once again. It, once they offered me, it was a no-brainer for me. It's just big for me just to knowing that he has faith in me and that he trusts me. And so that allows me to go out there and play fast and be myself. Coming to WSU is no small feat, as Richardson is tasked with filling the shoes of a Buckus Award finalist and NFL draft pick in Dayon Henley. But it is something he is not shying away from. Just watching how explosive of a player he is, and just watching who he is off the field, man. I, I take those notes and I absorb that for myself and just seeing like what I'm stepping into. Being able to come and follow up after Dayon is, is really, truly a blessing. As for how he is adjusting to life in Pullman, the Texas boy feels right at home. And just seeing those hills, I always tell people, it reminds me of Hidden Valley Ranch. Like, you know, on the bottle when they got the hills. So, I love it. <laughs> For me, my goal is one day to have me some land, having about two horses, wake up, drink some coffee, watch the sunrise. So, that's just kind of me. Richardson says you can catch those Palouse sunrise pictures on his Instagram story just about every morning. Now tomorrow evening we will sit down with Richardson's position coach and new WSU defensive coordinator Jeff Schmetting, so stay tuned for that one.